Hello, this is John. Welcome to GSA Crypto School. Today we are going to learn what is blockchain is in plain English. Have you ever wondered if there is a way to make transactions without having to deal with online wallets, banks, and third-party apps? It's possible. Because of the blockchain. You need to know all this about blockchain. Imagine that your friends will invite you to dinner. And you paid for the dinner. They all decided to split the cost. The next day your friends send you some money through an online money transfer. The transactions don't go through, because there are problems at the bank, so they don't go through. That's when you learn about all the different ways a bank transaction could go wrong. It could be because of technical problems at the bank. You have a friend whose account was hacked. Every day your friend's transfer limits were exceeded, and sometimes there were extra costs, like transfer fees, that came with transferring money to solve these problems. The idea of cryptocurrency was born. People use cryptocurrencies, which are a type of digital or virtual currency that run on a type of technology called the blockchain. Because of the blockchain, cryptocurrencies cannot be faked. In a market with more than a thousand cryptocurrencies, like a GSA coin, Bitcoin and Ethereum etc., you don't need a central authority or strong and complicated encryption algorithms to keep your money safe. GSA too is a good thing. Now let's go back to the example we used before. Let's say your friends have three bitcoins on hand. Well, they sent two bitcoins to you, so that's good. I guess. A record is made like a block. The transaction details between them are permanently written down. Another thing you can see in this record is how many bitcoins each of your friends own. They sent you two more bitcoins from your friends, so that's a good thing. This is how it works. A new block is made for each of these deals. In these blocks, you can find out how many bitcoins your friends have, how much they have in reserve, and how many bitcoins they have left. These blocks are linked to each other because each one takes the number of bitcoins from the one before it. A ledger is a list of records or blocks. Your friends own this ledger. And this ledger is shared with your friends, so it's a public distributed ledger that everyone can see. This is what makes up the blockchain. In this case, your friends will not be able to send you more bitcoins because they only have. Your friends will say that this transaction isn't real. If someone hacks into the blockchain, they won't be able to change the data because each person has a copy of the ledger. The complex algorithms used to encrypt the data inside the blocks. No, I can't think of any more. What do you think? Tell us what you think in the comments below. It was great to see you. Keep coming back for more.